welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for yet another early look at a brand new San Diego Comic Con 2024 exclusive, and this comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys from the Hulu movie Prey, which is in the Predator series. This is their ultimate camo reveal, Predator, and in case you were wondering what movie it's from, yes, it's Prey, because it's all over the box. Now, this is a slipcase cover of which it reveals, get it, slowly reveals, just like in the movie, the Predator. And what a Predator he was. On the back side of the box, you get gorgeous photos of the figure you're about to enjoy. Here's everything inside the box. There's about 24 separate accessories, which is quite impressive. And then also a couple instructions just showing you how to attach everything, but I'll show you all that myself. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. And as always, thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. Now, you're not going to need this because it's a San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive and you can grab it on the con floor at the NECA booth. If you're not going to be attending San Diego Comic-Con starting June 26th through the 28th, you can head over to thenecastore.com and grab one for yourself. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive from the NECA Toys Prey action figure line, the ultimate camo reveal predator. And while I got all you Hulu subscribers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys. We got new toys. We got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like this Predator with all the trimmings, all the accessories that you would need to outfit your ultimate camo reveal Predator. Say that all in one go. Now, he does come with a ton of extra hands. The hands are always painted nicely. You got hands for days. You'll never run out of hands. He's handy. So many hands in this box. <laughs> now, you do get inner swappable mandible jaws, which, hey, that's a nice touch. And they are presented in that clear plastic like the rest of this Predator's head. It's very simplistic. Pop the jaw down, pop this new jaw in, and bingo bango, you got yourself a screaming mandible head portrait. Now we got these really cool hook claws kind of deal. And I went back and watched the movie again for the umpteenth time, but these are something I didn't really remember. And then when I saw it, I go, oh, that's what those are. So there's kind of like these little hooks that pop out of his gauntlets and then he uses them to eviscerate everyone in the film. You also get his blades. Those are nicely done. Just simplistic silver plastic, but they simply slip into his gauntlets. And then, yeah, you can go to work on all those fur trappers if you so choose. Now. This is interesting. I immediately go, you know what? This has got to be uh, the little medication weapon. And yes, sure enough, it is. And it's got great paint to it for as tiny as it is. But if you need to administer any medical attention, you can definitely do so. Along with this gauntlet, it's a separate gauntlet. But if you remember the scene when he's going up against the fur trappers, he leaves the gauntlet. These things pop out and then... From afar, you see everything explode, and yes, he takes them all down. You also get the flintlock pistol, the same pistol that you see in Predator 2. Gorgeous detail on this. For as tiny as it is, great wash, great paint, one of the best accessories in the box, and it has little tiny little writing on it. And yes, in all those extra hands, he does have a hand that can hold and carry this flintlock pistol. Now, this is another great weapon. It's just a simplistic hatchet, but the detail on it is superb. And yes, the Predator can hold said hatchet. You also get two bombs. These are Predator bombs. When they explode, they do damage. And there's basically two variations on the hands, both of which can properly hold these bombs if you so choose. And you also get his Predator backpack, which has great paint, but the best part is it's got a magnet. I love action figures with magnets because you can just throw the magnetic backpack all over the back of this figure. There's really just two places to put it on him, but you get the idea. It's on there to stay. But I love the paint, slowly transitioning from clear to then tangible. Now you also get a bear trap with a real metal chain attached to it. It's very cool. The other day I was just thinking about it, like I don't have a bear, I needed it for something, but lo and behold, now I have a trap. It has writing, says number six. You can have a lot of fun with this if you so choose. You can put it on your action figure's feet or you can put it on your predator's arm and then just chuck it 
at an enemy. Now, you get this adorable wolf puppy that was alive at one point, but yeah, NECA toys, you're sick. It's just, you sickos. It's the remnants of a wolf, like when he eviscerates that thing and pulls its head and just hangs, it's, it's all kinds of gruesome, but in terms of action figures and having a predator action figure, yes, they've done an amazing job at recapturing that classic, classic moment of killing the wolf and <laughs> raising its spinal cord high above its head. Now, if you want to just get rid of all that fur and just have the skull, yeah, the NECA Toys has your predator covered. And like I said, he has the proper hands to hold said wolf skull and wolf head. Pick your own wolf adventure. But the predator himself, when they showed photos for this for the San Diego Comic-Con reveal about a week ago, it was one of those where I was like, pictures just don't do it justice. This is one that you really have to have in hand because it's like, what am I looking at here? The skull mask comes off. It's really awesome. Of course, the head is all clear plastic, but the minimal paint, the very digital look of him materializing is represented well. The mask situates very nicely. He's got long flowing predator dreadlocks, which unfortunately NECA did not include a comb, so I cannot comb my predator's dreadlocks. And amidst the dreads, you got all kinds of spikes underneath. And again, it looks great. And one thing to point out of mine on the instructions on the box, it says A, magnetic backpack, yada yada, B, belt hook holds collapsed combi stick. This predator doesn't come with a combi stick. I can't really see where this is supposed to attach. Perhaps mine got smushed, maybe the hooks aren't there, but yeah, there's really nothing on mine to do that. You do have the wolf skull, which, yeah, it's basically the same skull, but clear plastic. The feet have peg holes on the bottom. Again, the paint is just overall very cool. The gauntlets have all the detail. Everything that you would expect for a Predator figure from NECA Toys is represented well, and the articulation is pretty solid. I like the neck articulation on this thing, a very thick neck to then a ball jointed head. You get a lot of movement. The hair does not get in the way at all, but it just makes for very dynamic poses, especially with a Predator roaring, holding up, wolf spinal cords and just the whole nine yards of the articulation works well for me. Double jointed, bicep, the hands, again, some nice ab articulation up, down, left, right, side to side. And yes, it will get kind of gappy the further you move it back, but why are you moving it back so far? You don't need to go to that extreme. Don't be so dramatic, but yes, plenty of articulation in his predator abs. The legs, they'll kick out amidst his loincloth. That doesn't get in the way. He's got double jointed knees, part of which are pinned. The other parts, no. The feet, they'll move around. A-OK, -okay, up, down, left, right. You get the idea. Like I said, to get this predator into battle positions to fight other predators, or perhaps we'll get some other characters for him to battle. Fingers crossed later down the road. Yeah, it's pretty well done. Now, just to kind of see this predator of which now this is the third version next to a larger, larger Predator from the previous Predator movie. Yeah, he's still a pretty good size. Next to the NECA Toys Batman from the Alien vs. Predator line, I would say the Bats with a bat is not gonna be stopping this Predator very easy anytime soon. And yes, now that Disney owns not only Marvel, but the Alien and Predator franchises, you could definitely have this Predator going up against Wolverine. And for those of you continuing to watch, we've already taken a look at the Dinosaurs exclusive Captain Impressive and the Remco Retro Card Back Glow in the Dark Nosferatu figure. So this one will fit in nicely. I think it's the perfect San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Not something so detrimental to your collection. It's got great accessories, but again, it is another Predator, but for you Predator fans, I think you'll be stoked. So that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive, the ultimate camo reveal, Predator, from the awesome, awesome Predator movie, Prey. If you've not seen it, what are you doing? Go and watch it. Thank you again to my friends at NECA Toys for providing this figure for the purposes of this video. It's gruesome, it's got a ton of accessories, it's not gonna be detrimental to your collection if you don't get it, but it's a pretty stellar figure on its own. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Prey and Predator. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to aliens and it comes to predators, Negatoys really just always knocks it out of the park. Yeah, they make a lot of them, but there's only so many per movie. You got to do something with it. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.